everybody! I'm here for my August 2019 flip through. Uh, it's, you know, pretty similar to previous months if you've been keeping up, but always there's a couple changes and I know a lot of you enjoy seeing this. So let's begin. I am still in my Filofax mold and I love this thing. I'm not planning to move out anytime soon, though of course as soon as I say that I'm probably going to see something I like, but you know how it goes. Um, you'll see I have a Pilot Friction stuck here, just kind of nestled under the strap and it's uh it doesn't move it's fine this is the one i keep handy for my trackers and stuff which you'll see um and then in here i have a pilot g2 which i've been using lately um i'm trying to sort of break myself of my certain neuroses about uh being able to erase stuff i previously have used a pilot friction clicker ball you know, for everything in here. Um, and then when I find that like I forget it or something, it starts to be like, I don't want to, you know, write in permanent ink on something else. But you'll see here, I've just been writing with a normal gel pen and like the world hasn't come to an end or anything. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just using this. <laughs> it's boring and stuff. Uh, let's start with the pockets. Uh, the back pocket has some stickers mostly i think these are all from twin 16. i love her stuff there's a receipt in here and a little card i got from a product that i need to review stuff like that a couple of spare checks uh, one of them is made out to our babysitter and a little bit of cash but i'm not going to pull all that out because it's private um back pocket here i have a starbucks card and this sticker from um what was it the little red house the same people that made this journal same person. I got that from Comic-Con. Uh, this pocket has a little card that I used to cut my washi and then this little set of sticky flags from Daiso. And then the front pocket has the credit card I use the most and my driver's license. There's a little bit of change in here. And then we'll go to the back. Um, like I said, this journal from The Little Red House. She's on Etsy. Um, it's just like a long form journal. I don't use it very often, but I'm trying to get into the habit of doing it a little bit when I feel like it. Um, I've kept it in the back here with the back cover just sort of tucked underneath the pen loop so it doesn't fall out this way, though it doesn't anyway. It is just, as you see, like exactly the same height as the planner, so it wouldn't fit, um, like in this pocket or anything, but that's just there as sort of a reminder, so I have it handy. There's nothing in this pocket right now. Um, this one has the same little, um, just a piece of laminated paper with some washi tapes. These are the washi tapes that I brought with me to Comic-Con and they're not the color scheme I'm currently using anymore, but they're still there. Um, this washi tape is the same one. This is the one I got from the same, uh, same shop, same stall at Comic-Con. And then I have a, a nail file because I am neurotic about my nails being uneven and having a nail file handy is good. So we'll begin. In the front, Flyleaf uh, just has a cute little picture of us at my daughter's birthday party. This is the check it every day section. Um, so first we have my contexts lists, the next action items um, for, you know, wherever I am. And I've been doing really well and actually checking some of these off. The last couple of weeks have been, I guess, less busy with projects. Um, and so I've been able to focus a little bit more on getting some of these things knocked out that I've been putting off for way too long. Um, and also the fact that I only have one page here instead of having it printed on the other side as well. It's making me more selective about what I put there. So I guess sometimes instead I'll put something just on my weekly to-do list to get it done then. I don't know if that's good or bad. Here's my habit tracker. We're almost halfway through the month as I'm filming this and you'll see I've been doing okay. Certain things better than others. Um, I blocked off a couple boxes for like this last weekend. I was away and so I didn't have to like make my bed because there wasn't a bed to make, that kind of thing. Um, and the same for this next weekend. We're going to go to a wedding but generally I've been using this. Um, you'll notice some of these dots are kind of dirty-ish because that's what happens to yellow pens. And when I don't think about it, that's what happens to the dots. But I've got one of these uh, jot pads in the back dedicated to just cleaning off my yellow pen. 
So here we go. Uh, these are all Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, by the way. This is a monthly, just a basic grid. I don't really have to look at this very often, but I do, you know, it's good to have it in the front so I can see it once, you know, every, once a day. Um, and then on the back is the, uh, like a month on a page, again from Peanuts Planner Co. that uh, just has like a couple of things that need to get done on a specific day. It looks pretty sparse. Um, cause like I have events here and then these are just tasks. And this is my bra tracker, which I have been meaning to do a video dedicated to. Um, it might not happen for a couple months because I have my video schedule kind of all planned out, but basically this is just keeping track of which of my bras I'm wearing every day. So I know when to clean them. And then this is my NFP chart. Uh, so I fill that out every day as well. And then these I just don't want to forget about. So this is the waiting on that basically it's stuff that's, I just don't want to forget it, but like, it doesn't matter, unfortunately. <laughs> and then this is my someday maybe list. Eh. All right. Next section is the future log stuff. So this is the future log itself on this um, year at a glance kind of pull out from the Peanuts Planner Co. yearly bundle, the undated one. Oh no, this is the 2019 one. Um, then this is, I think, from the undated version. It's just a box for each month. So on the front is for stuff that's next year, and on the back is stuff that's in the future, uh, like beyond that, because I just I don't want to get to a point where I don't have anywhere to write something that goes in the future log, birthdays and anniversaries, and a couple of feast days, stuff like that. And then this is my recurring tasks. I've been adding to it as things come up that need extra maintenance. We just got a, uh, a robot vacuum, which actually I can hear running. I have it cleaning the front, the entryway right now. I hope you can't because it's in a different room. Anyway, um, so there's like maintenance on that that I kind of want to, you know, keep up on and stuff like that. All right, this next tab is my weeklies. But currently, this month, I am using the um, Mun Weeklies, or like, this, it's a hybrid monthly weekly thing, and you will see what I mean as I open it up. These are from uh, My Summer Touch. She just opened her shop uh, with Shopify, so it's on mysummertouch.com. And this is August. There is like a first page that has like the first through the fourth, but I didn't start on these until the fifth, so I just didn't even bother printing that one out. So you'll see, it's like a whole weekly fold out. And then all of them together make a little monthly so you can see them all together. And I just think that's pretty cool. I wasn't sure at first whether I would like it, but honestly, what I really like about it is not even just the monthly nature of it, but just, I kind of like the fold out. Um, it worked really well for me this past week. Uh, see on this side, I made like a column of the times that I'm at home and have time to work on something. These are all the projects I was working on. I had to make my podcast episode for myhogwarts.com as well as the two videos for the week. And so I sort of put like what I wanted to get done during each period, like in the morning, um, when the baby's at the babysitter, I have like half an hour to myself in the morning to get something done at my lunch break. And then in the evening after the baby's asleep. So you can see, I got most of those done. A couple of them crossed out instead of completed. This is just a general to-do list. Um, this column here is dinners or the f laundry load and dinner. And then there's just, you know, events and stuff. And then I just went ahead and put some uh, smiley faces for how I was feeling that day. And then I didn't even realize until like Thursday, as you see, that I could actually use this page for dailies. So these are just some sort of booger dailies for a couple of days. Um, and I'm going to be doing that again this week. Um, I'm actually filming this on Monday. So you're watching it here. Um, so yeah, I've got just a couple of things written here. Um, mostly though, I'm just working off like this to-do list and then the one in the front. So it's looking good. This isn't all filled up yet because I don't really know what it looks like or what I need to get done. It, I feel like there's not a lot that's pressing right now and it's kind of freeing and liberating, but also a little bit makes me on edge. Like what's supposed to, what am I supposed to be doing? Yes, like last night, I felt like, oh, I have nothing to do. What am I supposed to do while I wait for the the dryer load to go? Uh, I have nothing to do. I have already tidied the house. And so I ended up playing a video game. Isn't that weird? <laughs> anyway, so these are the Moon Weeklies from My Summer Touch. Um, it also comes with some more, you know, note pages in here if I need more room for dailies. 
This next section was my daily section, but I haven't been doing my dailies there this month. Um, so it's kind of just a notes for that I need this week. Um, I had a note page in here last week that I was like trying to find the best deal, um, shopping online, stuff like that. But this is actually the packing list from this last weekend. And on the back, I'm going to go ahead and put the packing list for this next weekend. I like using these inserts for my packing list. This is actually called Mail to Send from Peanuts Planner Co. And I went ahead and edited out the uh, the title because it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but this is what the basically it's just six little lists on there. And so I can go like toiletries, baby stuff, um, clothes electronics, whatever. And so give categories and pack that way. Cause that's kind of how I think. Um, and instead of like writing as many toiletries as I can think of, and then maybe leaving a couple room, you know, room for a couple more things that I forget. And then inevitably needing more space. I just have like this. Then this next section is general projects. Um, so a lot of these projects and I guess also like reference pages, these haven't really changed, except this is the new one that's like notes on how often you're supposed to do the uh, maintenance for the robot vacuum. Chores, library books, uh, game notes, debt payment tracker, gift ideas, wish list, and stuff to watch. And then this is blank right now. Uh, let's see, this is just a picture. And then this next tab, since I didn't really need it for anything specific, this is like the current project. So it's just like a quick highlighted work on this one right now. Um, so this is a, a project in the backyard. We've got a tree back there. And so we left grass off this section. So I've put the rocks around it and I'm going to fill it with um, wood chips. And I need to get like a log to be like a little stump seat because um, it's supposed to be just a cute little stump seat area, but I need to source a log anyway. So the idea is like, I didn't get to last week's thing. So anyway, these are also, these are notes for the game I'm playing. It's currently, there's an event and I'm deeply ashamed. This next section is YouTube stuff. So I'm going to skip over that. So you don't get any spoilers of what's coming next. And then this section is, uh, with you. And I think it's always you stuff for my Hogwarts. Um, so this is, I mean, none of this has changed. This is the year calendar that tells you what year we're on. We just finished year 48. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But if you like Harry Potter, check out my Hogwarts.com. These are my to do's every year, uh, notes on WizU stuff and notes on events and other things. And it doesn't, yeah, it means something to me. Then here's the brain dump on the back tab. I need to make a new brain dump page cause it's starting to get full. And then after this little divider is spare paper, just, you know, grids and lists and whatever, and a couple stickers and jot pads and plastic sheets with stickers and washi tape on them. And then in the back, um, obviously covered up. This is where I keep a couple of my credit cards and uh, my library card. And then this pocket has the little freebie samplers from twin 16 um those orders or and theoretically from any order that i've placed but those are the stickers that i bought most recently i just placed another order and i'm looking forward to those coming in and i think that that is everything so i hope that that was interesting for you this month and uh, i guess we'll see how things continue to evolve um i will put links to everything i can think of below and then don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every Thursday and Sunday. Planner of stuff is on Thursdays. So look forward to that and I will see you next week. Bye.